Kasha, just almost perfect weather. Well, I want to tell you, uh, Jeff, Jeff and Dan, uh, the boss called and said, we can totally go to the beach now. It's okay, fine. let's go. Like right now? Like right now. <laughs> we can go. No, I'm just kidding. Um, a very nice afternoon. Temperature is certainly warmer today compared to this time yesterday. Um, Lincoln City, you're in the low 60s, but you head up to Cannon Beach in Astoria. And you're closer to about 70 degrees right now. Uh, so nice looking day here. You're going to have more clouds to wake up to, though, tomorrow morning, and even the chance to have a little bit of drizzle as you wake up Monday morning. Over to Kalama. It's 78 degrees and a nice breeze out there on the Columbia River. That wind is going to be ripping through, though, tomorrow afternoon. I'll show you that map here in just a moment. Over to Ridgefield from our a, a camera. This view of Mount St. Helens. You can see the trees moving around there. We have that northwesterly flow about 10 miles per hour. A decent visibility, but you can see it's just a little bit hazy out there. I'll show you why here in just a moment. Look at your air quality. Klamath County down to the Oregon border in the moderate category, including Lakeview. Air quality alerts still in effect. The Dalles, we're still holding on to the unhealthy for sensitive groups category. So if you have asthma or other medical conditions, the recommendation is you stay inside. So as you make your drive through the gorge, you'll notice air quality and visibility getting worse as you approach the Dalles. Uh, right around Madras, we're in the moderate category. All this, of course, related to that wildfire smoke. Uh, a couple things to notice here with our current winds, mostly out of the north Madras and Bend, the Dalles up to about 18 miles per hour out of the northwest. But what you don't see on the map here, because this is all from airports, these are all airport indicators. You have these little microclimates inside that you don't see on the map, but we're getting a little bit of a northeasterly flow happening, pushing some of that wildfire smoke back the other direction, which is one of the reasons why you're seeing it's a little bit more smoky looking, a little bit hazier. Red flag warning goes into effect starting tomorrow because it's going to be not only windy, but very dry out there. Areas east of the Cascades, you are included in that red flag warning all the way up through Washington. Let's take a look at those wind speeds, though, for tomorrow. Tomorrow midday, you'll start to notice winds picking up, but the peak of it will be anytime between about 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. Gusts up to 40 miles per hour possible for you. The Dalles, Cascade Locks 35, Mount Hood up to 30, and out towards Maupin, anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles per hour. We get a break overnight Sunday, and then the winds pick up a little bit more again, so on Sunday night. Uh, but let's take a look at that wind direction as we get to the latter part of the weekend. Northerly flow happening here for a Saturday. Northwesterly flow increases Saturday night. Sunday into Monday morning, a change comes. A little bit of drizzle for you happening there at the coastline. Uh, possibly in the foothills, I'd say above about 2,000 feet, you might be a little bit in the drizzle mix early Monday morning. But watch what happens to our wind direction. Instead of having an onshore flow, oh boy, there we go. Wind changes. It'll be coming out of the northeast by the time we get to Monday night, which means all the wildfire smoke that's been collecting east of the Cascades will start pushing the other direction, possibly over into the Willamette Valley. So we'll be watching for that. When's the last time we had a 90 degree temperature? That was on the 17th in Portland. Ever since then, it's been in the 80s, but we might get another opportunity to get up to 90 degrees. Take a look. Your weekend forecast, very nice. Tomorrow, 76, but windy. Then the middle of next week, upper 80s to possibly 90 on Thursday. Point 6 News. We'll be right back.